Dear students, today our topic is scalar and vector quantities. You know that there are some quantities and processes in our world that depend on the direction in which they occur. And there are some that do not depend on the direction. So physical quantities can also be categorized on the basis of direction. There are two types of physical quantities on the basis of direction, scalar quantities and vector quantities. Scalar quantities are those quantities which can be completely described by only its magnitude. Now what is magnitude? Number with proper unit. Number with proper unit. Is called magnitude. How? Suppose 5 kilogram. So 5 is a number and kilogram is a unit. So 5 kilogram is a magnitude. Similarly, 10 meter. So 10 is a number, m is a unit. So 10 meter is a magnitude. So scalar quantities can be described only by its magnitude. For that reason, we can add, subtract, and divide it by ordinary algebra. For example, if we have 5 kg sugar and 3 kg sugar, so we can add, add it by ordinary algebra. It will become 8 kg. For example, 10 meter and 5 meter, so we can add it by ordinary algebra, 15 meter. So, mass distance, density, volume. These all are scalar quantities because it, these do not require any direction. Now, on the other hand, those quantities which can be completely described by its magnitude as well as direction, those quantities which need magnitude and direction called vector quantities. For example, force is a vector quantity. Force has a value and a direction. When you push or pull something with some strength, so strength is a magnitude, and if you pull or push it in a particular direction, because when you apply force on something, so you will apply it in a particular direction. So force is a vector quantity. Velocity is a vector quantity. Acceleration is a vector quantity. So vector quantities are those quantities which need magnitude as well as direction. For that reason, we cannot add, subtract, or divide vector quantities by ordinary algebra because in this we need magnitude as well as direction. How we can represent vector quantities? There are two ways to represent vector quantities. One is symbolic representation and the other is graphical representation. In symbolic representation, we can represent it by bold face letter, either capital R small. So we can represent vector quantity by bold face letter, either capital R, small. If it is not bold face letter, if you want to represent by simple face letter, then we will put an arrow uh, or R below it. So in symbolic representation, we can represent it by bold face letter or simple face letter with an arrow or R below it. Now, if you want to represent it by graphical representation, by graphics, so we can represent it by an arrow, F by an arrow. The length of an arrow shows its magnitude and the arrowhead points the direction. 
So if you want to represent a vector quantity by graphical representation, so it can be represented by an arrow. Length of this arrow gives us magnitude and the arrowhead points in the direction of the vector. So scalar are those quantities which can be completely described by its magnitude and vector are those quantities which need magnitude as well as direction. Thank you and have a nice day.